Welcome back to InfoGamer. Thanks for joining us. And we're ready to start coding again in Doodle Jump. Yeah. So, last time we covered the platforms moving and when they move. And in this video, we're going to go over the scoreboard or how we're going to accumulate our score. The first step is to add a UI text box. This will be what holds our score and how it looks with what fonts and colors we choose. On the menu bar of Unity, click Game Object, UI, then select Text. We now have this text element in the hierarchy and we want to make it a child to the image of the canvas. Just click and drag the text into the image element in the hierarchy. Now let's place our text where we want our score to show up, and we will do this by using the anchors of our text object. While the score is selected in the hierarchy, there should be a box with four pointers, one in each corner in the scene view. Let's click and drag the corners until the box is in the position we want our score to be. This box is going to be the boundaries of our score. Once you have the box in position, we will zero out the rec transform in the inspector. Sweet, we are getting pretty close to being able to code the score. Next, we make edits to our text component in the inspector. This box is just like any other text editor, where we can change the color, size, and style of our text. Make sure to check the box for best fit. We want it aligned on the left and centered vertically. Let's add a font and change the size. And here you can change the color of your score. To make it easier to find the text object in the hierarchy, let's change the name to score. Awesome! Let's open our game controller script and type the code that we are going to need for our score. Since we are wanting to alter the UI of our game through code, we need to type using unityengine.ui semicolon at the top of our script. Let's add the variables we will need, but first we should leave ourselves a comment that's double slash score. This will be a reminder for where our score variables are located. Then we need two public variables, an integer and a text. Type public uint score semicolon, then in the next line type public text score text semicolon. Since they are public variables, we will be able to manipulate them in the inspector when the game controller object is selected. Cool. Now let's scroll down to our group move function. You can also hit control F and type group move function in the box that appears to find it in our code. Remember this function is called in the update, so it's going to be called every frame and we want our if statement to be in this group move function. So let's start typing our if statement. Type if open and closing parentheses current group dot transform dot position dot y greater than two lerp dot y plus point three. Now that's our argument. Now in the body of our if statement we're gonna want to add our score by one. So type score plus plus semicolon. Now we need to access the value of our score text variable and set it equal to the value of our score variable. To do this, we will type score text dot text and set it equal to score dot two string open and close parentheses semicolon which will change the value from an int data type to a string data type so that it can be displayed in the text box. This is because Unity will only let you save string values into a text field. Let us save our code and go back to Unity. Once we are back in Unity, we need to assign our score text variable in the inspector. We will select our game controller in the hierarchy and then click and drag our text game object from the hierarchy to the score text field we have created. All right, let's hit play and see what we got. Boom. So you can see that the score adds when the platforms are moving 
but they don't add when the platforms aren't moving. Awesome. That's so cool. And there you have it. Your Doodle Jump game now has a score. Hey, thanks again for watching this video. Thanks for being here, and thanks for staying till the end. And I hope this game's working out for you, as it's working out for us so far. We're learning a bunch. Thanks for all of you that have left comments and asked us questions about what we've been doing. Now, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave us comments. And make sure that you hit the subscribe button.